Meet Jonesy. Jonesy is not the most skillful player at Call of Duty currently, sitting at an average of 1.5 KD, but he has courageously offered himself up to be a part of this brand new series where we try to take an average player to a sweat through Call of Duty coaching. By the end of this bootcamp is to turn Jonesy from an average of a 1.5 KD with only 4 kills per game in Warzone into a bare minimum of a 2 KD with 6 kills per game, then progressively moving him closer to a 3 KD mark with at least 8 kills per game on average. If you want to follow Jonesy on his journey from an average player to a sweat, please like this video as it does truly help. And if you want to book in for your own coaching sessions, please follow the link to my Discord in the description to get booked in. To become a sweat at Warzone, we need to work from the ground up. Just like a professional football player practices their passing with passing drills, even though they know how to pass, we are also going to be doing that with Jonesy here. To start this, we're going to begin with a quick 1v1 on shipment so I can gauge Jonesy's general skun skill ability as well as watching how he performs in one-on-one -on -one scenarios. To do this, we're going to have a good old fashioned 1v1. This will help us get warmed up, give a baseline score for him to beat next time, as well as letting me throw in some different gunfight scenarios to see how he copes. <laughs> <Go on take>. <laughs> <laughs> Now that I have some kill cams to run off and a base score line, we move into drill number two. We need to build some key fundamentals, so we need to ensure his settings are correct. So after a quick settings and dead zone check, we need to assess if his sensitivity is right. Now, luckily in our case, Jonesy's got a fantastic controller. It has zero stick drift, so we drop his dead zone minimum all the way down to one for his left and right stick, which will make his controller much more responsive and help him take more advantage of aim assist. The reason we're going to be first checking the sensitivity is there's no point building up his ability if his sensitivity is too low or high and he's too reliant on aim assist and is struggling to do the key fundamentals such as centering and flicking which we'll go look at later on in the drill. For this I first have Jonesy shoot some bot with his aim assist off whilst I spectate. Again during this I'm analysing his approach to the gunfight but more importantly right now I'm analysing his capabilities without the reliance of aim assist while simultaneously analysing key points in the gunfight that he may be doing wrong at this point in time. He actually doesn't know fully what I'm looking for and that's important. I want to see his raw performance. As you can probably see from this there are some issues going on with Jonesy's gunfights already. His centering is completely off. It's indicating he's over reliant on aim assist to the point where without it he can't really shoot. So the next stage for me now is to check his centering ability with his current sensitivity settings. So we have him do a simple drill. His goal here is to pretend the blue window is an enemy and also the blue door and he's going to center on each from left to right, right to left at a speed you would do during an actual gameplay. As you can see we're already noticing some flaws, watch as he flicks to the target on the right and you can see what's wrong, there's consistently overshooting on his center dot and it's going outside the target. Now yes we could argue in a real life scenario aim assist would support but the point here is to reduce your reliance on the aim assist so that when in action your shots are as accurate as possible. After a quick little discussion with Jonesy on this, we both agree his sensitivity may be a little too high for him so we just knock it down by one and we get him to run the drill over again. And as you can see from here, his centering is so much more consistent than it was previously. Now that we've found the sensitivity that Jonesy is much more consistent on when it comes to centering, we're going to be trying this out in a real life environment with moving bots. So next I just load up a TDM with some friendly bots. Jonesy's one goal in this drill is to keep his center dot around the stomach to chest level of the bots as they're running around the map. It's going to be swapping from bot to bot and it's just going to get a feel of the new sensitivity and we're just going to watch and just see how he does. One thing I did notice when Jonesy's trying to track the targets through hip fire is he's quite stuttery at times when he's moving left to right on the tracking. He'll do micro adjustments opposed to one smooth motion, which is something we do touch on as well. And we try and get him in the habit of making it a smooth motion. Once we're happy with seeing this with Jonesy, it's time to just dial in his ADS sensitivity. So we just run the first drill on the window and the doorway again. Except this time it's going to be aimed down sight. And to wrap up the drill, we're just going to test it vertically as well and have them look up and down. And once we're happy with that, it's time to move on to the next drill. Next, we need to work on Jonesy's movement. For that, I just get him to run around and just do some slide cancels around the map. Jonesy informed me that to do a slide cancel, he does crouch, crouch. So we just run over how to do slide cancel properly on this game, which is crouch, then jump. 
and that will get you a smooth slide cancel. Once he's got in the repetition to doing that, we get him to incorporate some longer slide cancels into his movement as well, as all the slide cancels are always consistently short. So once he breaks into that habit, we're now going to move into some movement drills. So for our first movement drill, what we're going to have Jonesy do is practice shoulder peeking from a slide cancel. To do this, we're staying in private match, and as you can see from this drill, all he is doing is practicing cancelling the slides at the edge of a wall so that only half his body is peeking. Once he gets used to that, we then incorporate his centering back into this movement by having him centre on the target that you can see in front of him there. After this, we move on to bunny hops. To do this, we start by breaking it down and keeping it simple, and at first, all we do is have Jonesy jump once on the spot while practicing a at a target and just get him in the repetition of that. Once he gets used to jumping twice and keeping his character's momentum going in the same direction he was originally sprinting, we then have him aim at the target as well and just practice the centering again with this movement. And then we move on to some other basics. We got drop shots as well as snaking. And this is stuff Jones is also going to be having to practice in his own time. So you can't get really good at this just in one session, but these are just real quick drills to get him in the habit and he will be practicing this in his own time and get building up that muscle memory. But guys, that is it for our first session with Jonesy. I'm going to play out some clips Jonesy sent me from a VOD review that we're going to be doing in a future video. We'll be running weekly sessions with him and we'll be going through a lot more than just the basics we ran through in this video. This again is just to make sure we start with a nice groundwork. If you want to get your own coaching, make sure you get in the Discord link below. If you're looking to get your Warzone rank account up as well, maybe you're currently like a silver gold and your friends are all in diamond and you can't play with them at the moment, or you're just struggling at the moment, make sure to also jump in the Discord for that as we also do have account rank boost on services in there and I'll catch you next time.